Getting juicy over in the team reviews now as we take a look at Blab and Rowers' first opponents for the new season. It's all about Charlton, this one. Right, folks, back once again with another team review. This time, taking a look at Charlton Athletic, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to get your bang out to date with all things Black and Rose related, Championship related, World Football related. We're going to all here under one roof. I know I kissed the badge when I said Championship, but you know what I mean, boys and girls. Anyway, we've got a lot to talk about, a lot to get o over here. So let's get cracking and take a little look at it, shall we? But first and foremost, before we get into the nitty gritty, I'm on the lookout for Black uh, for Charlton fans just like you boys and girls if you want to become the star of the show for the Blackburn Rovers Charlton game coming up uh, it's rapid August the 3rd I think the match takes place but I'm looking for a fan to come in uh, to Skype with me over the over the interweb answer a few questions about Charlton about your predictions where you think you'll end up starting 11 all that kind of good stuff get involved with me uh, I smash the old uh, subscribe smash the, the chat section down below Buzz me, get a hold of me, or if you want to go over onto the, the Twitter sphere, Twitter sphere even, smash the old uh, follow on at Rover Season, DM me that way, uh, and then we'll get in touch with you. Uh, we'll, we'll come up with some sort of time, sort of, sort of a date that suits us both. We'll have a quick Skype chat, five, ten minutes. You'll answer a few questions, and bish, bash, bosh, you'll be the star of the show for the match previews, the match reviews for Blackburn Rovers up against Charlton. Anyway, so let's get cracking and take a little closer look at Charlton Athletic. That's right, they play their games right here. At the Valley, that's right, 27,111 people can walk through those turnstiles uh, if they so choose fit. Um, they are still managed by, believe it or not, he was he was there, he was gone, and he's back again. Lee Bowyer, boys and girls, is back in charge of Charlton in the championship. Um, so looking forward to seeing him in action. Very good young manager. Uh, but anyway, last time out, they finished third in the uh, League One and they won the playoffs, knocking out Sunderland along the way. Uh, big bad boy Patrick Bauer scoring the decisive goal. He is now on the enemy list because he's left Charlton and he joined flipping them dingles. Not them dingles, but them, uh, them knobbers. Preston North End. Uh, you know, we're never going to live that down. We've, we've been we've been sold short there. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Anyway, they did reach the second round of the FA Cup, the first round of the Carabao Cup, and the Mickey Mouse Club Trophy. They were uh, knocked out in the group stages as well. Lyle Taylor was the main man. 21 goals for Charlton this or last season. Um, let's take a look at their record against Rovers. Well, they've only won 26 out of the 76 games they played between the two, the two sides. 17 draws and Rovers picking up 36 victories. The last time that these two sides met. It's pretty even keel out at uh, the Valley. It was a 1-0 win for Charlton. Whereas Rovers picked up a 2-0 win the last time that these two locked horns over at Ewood. Now, these two do will lock in horns at the opening day of the season. 3rd of August at Ewood Park. Where they'll bring it, and they'll bring it back around on the 15th of February 2020. For the second time uh, in the season. When they'll go down to London uh, to the Valley. And they'll duke it out with Charlton on their own turf. Um, let's take a look at what, um, again, with any other League One promoted size, it's quite hard to find data for them. So you've got kind of a condensed team review. But we'll take a look at it anyway. This is what I believe is the starting or the Dream 11 last time out. A lot of some of these players have gone. Some of them are likely to go. Uh, Phillips between the sticks. Bauer, uh, Bellick and Saar at your three-man defence. Solly at a left back. We've got Jika Steele at the right back. Cullen, Pierce. Uh, in the middle of uh, midfield, Aribo, Taylor and Grant up top. So let's take a look at the statistics there for Charlton last time. Now, let's, like I said, it's quite difficult to get the stats uh, for League One. So Ly Taylor was the main man scoring 22 goals. Uh, Carlon Arthurn Grant scored 14 goals. Joe Aribo got 10. Uh, Christian Belich and Ben Reeves got four goals. Uh, as for the assists, Tyler was the main man again. 11 assists. Colin uh, Arthurn Grant also got four assists. Aribo and Tariq Fosu got three assists out of their games. Uh, so let's take a look at where they ended up. Uh, they did finish third in the table. Finishing quite strongly, winning five of the past six games. Uh, not too shabby indeed. Their home form for the season, uh, pretty solid last six games. They won them all. So they'll be top dogs for that. I'm sure we'll take a look at the form books in a second. As for their away form, uh, not that great. Six, well, it's okay. Uh, six spot uh, in the four in, uh, in, in the away form uh, or the way sort of rankings, I guess, uh, for the whole season. Um, and they've also won three of the last four away games. So let's take a look at that form book. They are red hot right now. Just one loss out of the past six games, uh, all in all, both grounds, home and away. Uh, as for the home form, like I said, 100%, six out of six wins, uh, not too shabby. Quite comfortably, the strongest team uh, exiting League One. 
As for the waveform, uh, it's still pretty decent. Like, like I said, just the one defeat out of uh, six. Um, but there's a couple of draws in there. Portsmouth do have a better one, but who cares? They're not in the championship. It is, it is Charlton all the way. Anyway, let's take a look at their transfer business so far. And again, this is early doors. Things could happen. We still may see some more players arrive. Pretty sure uh, the majority of business has yet to be completed out in the championship. So the biggest transfer for me is Macaulay Bond, baby. That's right. Big fan of him. He's come in from Leighton Orient to lead the line. Charles Clayton has also come from Leighton Orient as well to join uh, to join Charlton. Uh, Nathan Harness from Stevenage. Jay Mingi from West Ham. Uh, Abraham Odo from Tooting Mitcham United. And Luca Vega has come in from Ipswich as well. As the players out, quite a lot of them. Nicky Ajose has been released. Uh, Joe Ab Aribo has gone to Rangers for some compensation. Uh, superstar hero Patrick Bauer has gone to uh, Preston off end. Um, a lot of released players in there too. Ben Reeves has also been released. Uh, and so has Johnny Williams. So a lot of, lot of you know, young and experienced fellas coming and going out of the doors at the Valley. Let's go take a look at their opening six fixtures. Obviously, they kick it off with the biggest game of the season. The biggest game of opening day. It is Championship. Uh, Charlton against Rovers at Ewood Park. Three o'clock kickoff in England. 3rd of August. Set your dates. Set your calendars uh, for that one. And then a week later, they're back. Kicking off their home campaign up against Stoke City. Uh, that's on the 10th of August before a Calabria Cup trip uh, back at home again against Forest Green Rovers. Uh, they'll take it on Barnsley, uh, the two League One uh, debutantes or returnees or whatever you want to call them, uh, locking horns on the 17th of August before uh, uh, bringing it back down to London against Nottingham Forest on the 24th of August. And they'll wrap up their six-game streak up against Brentford on the 24th of August. It's a, it's an OK start to the season, not two horrific games. They could, you know, start off the season. You know, to be honest, I've said this before, Rovers have not won an opening game in nearly 10 years, so... Good chance for Charlton to get something from this game. The bookies, though, they don't expect much. In fact, they expect... That's it. No movement whatsoever. They expect them to be either down at the bottom, second from bottom. Because, obviously, it's it's a big old struggle for Charlton right now. A lot of uncertainty with the with the, the manager. He comes, he goes, he went, he stayed. All that kind of... It's it's very confusing. Can they stick around? I think, I, to be honest with you, I, I, I don't think it's as easy a clean shot as that. I don't think they're going to be that certain for the drop i think there could be some other teams that could be worse off especially with off the field matters you know birmingham look a mess forest also look a mess right now you never can never ride out rovers but right now we seem to have our shit together but anyway that's just the bookies opinion i'll be having my own prediction video a little bit later on maybe in a couple of weeks time so stand by for that sucker and once again charlton fans i am looking for you the special one the chosen one to represent charlton athletic for match previews and match review if you are interested Get in touch with me, whether it is in the comment section down below or over on uh, Twitter sphere. Have follow me at Rover Seas and buzz me that way and say, hey, I want to be your Charlton man. Get me involved, or woman, or woman, you know, whatever it all. If you want to do a team effort, that's fine. Bring the boys, bring the crew, whatever it is. Or maybe you're a vlogger, a Charlton vlogger. That would be ideal. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, get in touch with me one way or another, and I will uh, I'll buzz you back, and we'll talk about it or arrange a date. We've got to get got to get our heads together, quick time, boys, because the game is coming. It's the first of the season, so we've got to get our shit together and ready to rock and roll, rock and roll, man. Anyway, that's all I've got for you. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. But if you do, smash the subscribe. I'm gonna try and bring you another team review tomorrow. I think it's up to the D's now. Maybe it's Derby. Um, so there'll be next at the blocks. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video again. Uh, give me your thoughts and opinions about Charlton, where they're gonna end up in this season. Are they going to be struggling for relegation? Will there be a bit of a dark horse and stick around? Because we did it. We came up through League One and we did okay. 14th in the table last time out. Can Charlton repeat that or can they go better than that? Um, you never flip it. No. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Ciao for now.